Hello, I'm David Gray, and this is a second in the series of older, re-edited throwback time videos that I'm planning to publish. And I'm republishing them because I've never been happy with the quality of the original videos that I uploaded to YouTube. And I know I can greatly improve upon them by applying some off-board image stabilization, optimizing the editing, and then creating them in the full 1080 HD that the raw footage was captured in. I started this series of videos with my first ever backpacking trip to the Peninsula Trail in southern Indiana. But I've decided I'm going to stray a little bit from the sequential order for these next two videos. I recently published my 2011 Zirkel Wilderness Hike, which had previously been unpublished, but there were actually two training hikes that my son Christian and I did, one here in Indiana and then one in southeast Ohio, to get ready for that trip out to Colorado. We did the Two Lakes Loop Trail in southern Indiana in May of 2011, and then we did the Shawnee Backpack Trail in June of 2011, and I thought it made perfect sense to complete the Zirkel story to actually do those two videos as the next two in the series. So with that, let's take a fresh look at the first backpacking trip I did with my son Christian, the Two Lakes Loop Trail near Tell City, Indiana. I got company this time. <laughs> and not just the dog. <laughs> Christian and I are heading down to do the uh, Two Lakes Loop Trail. 30 miles west of Louisville. Christian looks all excited. Jaden's, as usual, extremely excited to hike again. So, the weather's supposed to get really gnarly. It's supposed to rain basically non stop. Right now it's 73 degrees and uh, really nice. But we're heading down to where the rain is and thunderstorms. And then tomorrow the high is supposed to be about uh, 54 degrees. It's supposed to be a beautiful trail. I'm a little worried there's two uh, river crossings that we have to do and uh, in dry normal weather it's at least knee deep and it's been anything but dry. We'll see how it is to do this with uh, two of us this time. Looking forward to it. Well, Jaden is happy to be out of the car. We have arrived miserable storms coming through. We weren't quite sure what was going to happen and maybe there'll be more yeah. coming. But Packs are all set to go. We had to stop at uh, Wally Mart to buy a, uh, a frying pan. Oh, by the way, that's for Christian. Oh, thank you. <laughs> got about eight miles probably to go uh, to get to where we're camping tonight, which is going to be on the west side. There's, there's two lakes, um, Indian Lake and Salina Lake. We'll camp on the west side of the second lake we come to today, so this should be pretty cool. I have a feeling we're going to need the bug spray. I think there's going to be skeeters. <laughs> well, I uh, didn't think we'd be <laughs> getting the rain gear out quite as early as we've had to, but uh, it's uh, raining pretty good here, so we're going to get geared up and see where we are right here. And then we're going to hike down this way, around this lake all the way over here and then probably camp right in here or so on Indian Lake and all the way back tomorrow. Beautiful weather for it. <laughs> Jaden's thirsty. We're probably about a mile into it but uh, here's what we're hiking in. Real peaceful. There's no wind at all. Getting ready to get to uh, Salina Lake. It's not raining anymore. It's kind of kind of peaceful in the jungle here right now. But uh, hopefully within here in thunder you'll hear the birds and stuff. Uh, we're getting ready to get a little farther away from civilization. Oh, timber! <laughs> it's break time. This over here, now I see it through the woods a little bit, is Salina Lake. This is the very southern end of it. I think we're getting ready to go across the dam. We're probably, my guess is about, well, three miles maybe into the hike. We've been going south the entire time and we're getting ready to uh, head west. You can hear the rain coming down. <laughs> Wind's picking up. I think we'll cross the dam. I don't know if that's it there. It's kind of hard to see through the trees, but then we head that way, which is west. And then once we get to the second lake, there'll be another lake about a mile west of here. Then we head north and uh, along the western shore of Indian Lake, and that's where we'll look for our camp. Jaden's going to get a treat. Not sure he likes Cheez-Its. <laughs> don't think he likes Cheez-Its. Oh. 
Well, we have reached Indian Lake. Just came out of the boonie jungle here. And uh, you can see the, uh, I think we gotta walk across the dam, but this is the area where they said, uh, you can see this is kind of tick country. I think ticks would love this habitat. So apparently we walk through here and then on the other end of it is a uh, bench. We can detick ourselves if we have to. So cool thing is on the western shore, somewhere along that lake, probably up, my guess is up there. Here's the very corner of the lake. On that western shore somewhere, probably a mile up that way is where we're going to camp. So we're getting close. Oh, I got a silly dog. <laughs> I think he got his pack all in a tizzy here. Jaden, your packs. Uh, hang on, let me. Oh, you fix Jaden here. Oh, there you go, pup. What they call this is uh, bushwhacking through tick country. <laughs> Can you say tick heaven? <laughs> Uh, oh, pretty. Just concluded the de-ticking exercise. <laughs> uh, we were tick free, which is absolutely incredible. It's going through that stuff. I wonder if Jaden is tick free. Mm -hmm. We'll check him a little tonight. This guy's uh, canoeing here. Check this out. Pretty peaceful out here. Looks like they got the whole place to themselves except for us. Man, look at this place. We're both really hungry and we're ready to uh, get to camp and have dinner, but you can see the weather seems to have stabilized. No more rain, not much wind. It's real, real pleasant hiking right now. This is, uh, this is Indian Lake. The other one that we thought was Indian Lake was actually just uh, the end of Salina Lake. We're in uh, tick heaven again here. <laughs> Christian is crossing his hiking sticks in front of him to uh, Keep the ticks away, I guess. But uh, hopefully, over here on the west shore, we'll find our camping spot for the night. Now you can go first. Oh, I get to take off. I'm keep. I'm the one who's blazing the tick trail here. This is a good strategy. There's my dog. He looks happy. Keep going, buddy. Well, we uh, made it to camp. It's actually pretty late. Very much work to get the fire going. You can see it's a lot darker down in the woods, but that's Indian Lake. I don't know if you can see it in the background, but that's Indian Lake Dam. We literally just entered the woods right over there. So we're 50 yards into the woods. I mean, this is the deep woods off here. Blair Witch Project stuff. I won't say that to Christian, freak him out. We went at least a mile up that way. Looking for a suitable campground. And we found a couple. Unfortunately, the best one, there were a whole bunch of people in it. And the second best one had been in a flood area. A couple of the spots were actually underwater in some really nasty, nasty area where all the vegetation had died and it was just muddy. Got the cheddar cheese spread steeping, the all-American burger wrap going. So we're gonna have a little bit of a feast here, but the weather turned out fantastic. We only got rained on at the beginning. A good day of hiking, but boy, are we tired. <laughs> the morning of our second day, it rained all night. <laughs> I mean, it's still raining, I don't know, it's not raining very hard right now. It's gonna start raining really hard out here having my uh, my coffee, Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Yeah. Early morning view of Indian Lake. This is the dam right here. I'm trying to figure out the quickest way to get back to the car. We may actually backtrack across that dam because there's a connector trail that goes right on the other side of that ridge. But I think we'll hook up with a road that we can get back to the car if we go up the normal way up the trail, we had to backtrack a mile to get to this camp. So we got that mile to make up, probably another five or six even beyond that, and two river crossings, which I'd really like to avoid in this kind of weather. What I'm really trying to do is uh, beat some pretty significant, very slow moving, very heavy rain that's sitting right about the Illinois-Indiana border right now. Really wet night, stayed perfectly dry in the tent. It was actually kind of neat to listen to, but the whole time I was thinking about <laughs> getting up and breaking camp in a downpour and start just slowly packing stuff up, getting it ready, and then we'll uh, make breakfast and head out. 
I'll head back and start doing some work. <laughs> it's raining now. Making our breakfast burrito. <laughs> Drinking hot chocolate and coffee. Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Making our breakfast burrito again. Christian's sipping some hot, nice hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. Jaden is anticipating the breakfast burrito. He's spitting every once in a while, but most of it's just hitting the canopy. Hardly any of it's coming down to the ground. Do breakfast here and then get rolling. We're gonna backtrack across the dam and hit the connector trail. I checked the map and that's definitely the shortest way home. So that's what we're gonna go to do, try to beat the rain. We are all ready to go. You can hear it's raining again. What's left of our camp, which if we've done our job properly is basically nothing. We're ready to go. We both got the uh, full rain gear on. It's going to be a wet few miles here, but we should be maybe an hour and a half, two hours back to the car. And we'll be dry and warm and back in civilization. But here we go. Ready to hike. Beautiful day. <laughs> Little grungy. You can see the hills in the background. Actually kind of a cool day. It's not raining too hard. Temperature's perfect. We got probably, my guess is three, four miles to go to get back to the car. Heading across the dam again. Take heaven. Nice day for a walk in the woods. Yeah, we made it back to the trailhead. The car is still there. Hopefully down there somewhere. Well, after probably about five miles today and an hour and a half of hiking, we made it to the car. <laughs> we did it. Probably 13 miles total, be my guess. But nice hike. Now we're going to get some dry clothes on and head home and stop and get some food on the way, which always is a great hike, great time with Christian. This was a blast, so hopefully.